Hello again. So in my last video I showed you how to basically set up very simply auto hotkey to work with Chrome using the auto control extension. Um, so this one I'm going to expand a little bit in uh, two ways. I'm going to show you how to click buttons and also how to fill out forms for information that might always be in the same. Uh, in the last video I showed you how to take highlighted text from another program and send it over to Chrome to fill out the field that you want. But there's going to be scenarios where the information is always going to be the same, so you can just hard code it into the JavaScript or uh, into the auto hot key program. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we'll start with the button pressing. I'm just going to use Chrome for this one. And I'm going to go ahead and paste uh, some of the code I actually have here. So the first line, I obviously got my hotkey to trigger the script. Send control C, because I want to highlight whatever I want to search for and copy it to the clipboard. Then I have win activate, and that's going to focus on Chrome for me, because that's where I'm doing the search. And then send control alt B. So in my last video, I kind of showed you the reasoning behind what this is and what it does. And it's, uh, it's basically the trigger that the auto control program is waiting to hear from. And then I'm going to sleep for, I just put 2,000 milliseconds. Give your uh, browser a few seconds to load um, Google search for you. And then it's going to do Control C or Control Alt C. And I'll show you why we have that broken up into two different triggers. And then, as always, I like to add the hotkey modifier timeout, 100 milliseconds. Just because for some odd reason, like I said in my last video, those modifier keys like to get stuck in the down position, which can cause problems. So I put that there just kind of as a safety net to make sure everything's going to continue to work for me. So I'm going to go ahead and compile that. Give it a second here. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and run that. Like I said in the last video, you can always check to make sure it is running down here in your tray. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump over to our auto control program. So in the last video, I showed you how to basically install this and set it up. I went ahead and already added that um, Control-Alt-B and Control-Alt-C. So in my script, the first one that hit is going to be Control-Alt-B. And what I have for that, and I'll post uh, this code into the uh, description, is window.location.href equals and then google.com. This is what's going to bring up the website for me. I then have that sleep over here that gives a chance for Google to actually load. And then it's going to send control alt C, which is going to trigger this. So first thing it's going to do, it's going to paste the text that I had highlighted into that search field. And then here's the new thing. So this is a button press in JavaScript. Pretty simple, just document, get element by name. Um, it could be by ID, whatever, depending on the site. And then BTNK, that is the uh, name of the button for Google. I already went ahead and looked that up zero click and that's basically the action that's going to click on the button for me and this we don't actually need i'm not sure why that's there so this is what you'll end up with um, as your google search so i can go ahead and just go to a random website here and i'm just going to highlight sharepoint let's say i want to google that press f1 it's going to load google Wait two seconds. Oh, there it goes. And it went ahead and did that SharePoint thing for me and um, went ahead and got that for me. So that is how you do a button press. Pretty straightforward. Now, depending how fast your, you know, your internet is, your computer, all that, you might have to play around with this sleep. You know, if it's really slow, you might have to make it more like five seconds. Hopefully not, but just in case, you might have to play around with that. 
um, just make sure everything continues to work for you. So the next thing I wanted to show you guys is um, pre-filling forms out for you. So let's go ahead and start fresh here. So the auto hotkey side of this is actually going to be pretty simple. Um, I'm not really going to have to do much here except for the trigger, which I'm just going to use uh, sin control. There we go. Control alt, and we'll use A again on this one. And that's it for this. That's all we need. We just need it to trigger because everything else is going to be done in the actual extension. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, compile that. First, I'm going to close this one out. Launch the new one. So yeah, auto hotkey on this side, super simple. You're just making a trigger. New action. We were using Control-Alt-A. And then what we're going to do over here is we'll use uh, Facebook again as an example. So we're going to use the uh, run script. We want to focus on the first field, which is document, get element by ID, email, focus. And then we want to insert the text. So you can actually go to other, insert text, and you can enter the information here that's always going to be the same that you never need to change. So I can be like, this name at that email.com. Once that's done, we want to then focus on the password field. So we're going to go to other, run script. It's all exactly the same, except for the ID there is PASS, I believe. Let me double check that. Uh, yep, pass. So we're good there. And then I want to insert my password. All right. So let's try that out. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go ahead and push F1. And there we go. Automatically filled out both the fields for me. Um, like in the first part of this video, you could always make it auto-click this login button if you wanted to. And that's what I got for you guys on this video. Plan to make a third one tomorrow with some more stuff on auto hotkey to Chrome. Um, just kind of trying to think what I could do next that would be helpful. Uh, if you guys have any ideas, definitely please uh, comment below and let me know. Uh, if you didn't really understand anything going on in this video, watch my first one. That explains how to get everything set up and started. See you later.